Gabby Diaz here, and I am so excited today because I am sitting down with Anderson Pack. Yes, Lord! <laughs> How are you, man? How is life? Life is G. I could imagine. Life is what you make it. It's been crazy. How's your life? Anybody ask you? Yo, no, you know what? That's Come the on. first. I got to... Real talk. How you how you feeling? <laughs> Man, life is great. Yeah. I'm a little tired. I'm sure you're tired too. Same. But it's okay. We're gonna get through it. We G's. I like that tired thing when you haven't slept for hours and you kinda get in this weird like Yeah, you get in weird, like a weird goofy, funk almost. like yeah. it's a weird I feel like high, but I haven't done any substances, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like you get in that weird like I feel it. Cuckoo. I feel it completely. I'm a cuckoo right now. Let um so let me just back up really quick because I know you as Breezy Lovejoy. Wow. Like that's y'all, how y'all yeah, are thorough over here. That's how far I go back. So, what I really want to know is why did you change your name? I changed my name because I was going through like this whole transformation, this whole uh, period where I was developing like a work ethic and uh, like a routine. Right. Before I never had a routine. Well, I kind of did, but it was just like wake up, smoke, drink, <laughs> see where the party was at, totally. try to make a couple bucks. And kind of just let life kind of just take me wherever. Yeah. And then I got tired of that. And I was like, well, I'm going to try to um, kind of man this ship a little bit better. Yeah. And I got in the studio and I worked like it was a job. And I woke up in the morning and I made a bunch of music. And I just got in a routine of just like um, wanting to better my life, you know, just totally. get a little more better quality for my life. I had, a, I had this new son, had a family I was raising. Um, I had a lot of different things going on and after I came out of that recording process and I had all these other things going on in my life I wanted the art to reflect that as well right it was just a natural thing yeah. and um, after I came out of it I was like well you know Breeze Ledger I've been rocking for like six seven years I got about five six hundred followers so I don't know maybe I can do it now before it gets too crazy right. you know and so I decided to just rock with my last name and my middle name, and that yeah. was it after that. And uh, I kind of could years later, I was rocking with Dre. So. Yeah. Hey. So, <laughs> I mean, there you go. I, I could kind of relate to you in that sense because I had to go through a name change. Yeah, at what was one your first name? And, well, my real name's Gabby. Like, that's my name. That's but pretty. I went by Gabby V for a wow. while. Yeah, and so, so I had to go ahead and change it to Gabby Diaz because my boss straight up told me, like, listen, Gabby V sounds like my great aunt. Wow. I don't want to rock with that no more. It's kind of hip-hop. Yeah. But it's like auntie hip-hop. Yeah. Curtis Blow. Pretty much. Yeah. Like that, yeah. <laughs> the Beach Street. <laughs> you break that? Uh, no, I mean, I could, you know, do a little pop popping lock? every now and then. But if I give it to nah, you, Nah, but you, you going to kill it. That's what's going to happen. Okay. And I'm going to be sitting over here on ready. the other <laughs> Totally okay. not ready. <laughs> um, but let's talk about the music. When you, you know, started working with Dre... Let's talk about that really quick, because I heard Animals, and I lost it. And I think mm. that's when I realized that you were Anderson Pack, a.k.a. Breezy Lovejoy. And I was like, wait, what? I'm, hold on. I'm, like, confused right now. Love that. Love so that. So when I heard Animals, and I was like, yo, that I've heard this voice before. Mm. How did that even come into play? Animals was a tune that I actually brought to Dre. Um, wow. I was working with Dre for, like, a few weeks before that. Uh-huh. And I got that beat from uh, from Premiere and another uh, producer named Space Bus. Were you kind of Space fanning Kate? out when you were with Primo? Like, Honestly, because I bit. feel like you, I would have lost my shit. You know what? Shit. That's why I think everything is timing, because five years ago, I wouldn't even been able to handle it. Like, I would have yeah. barely been able to handle this, like, being in the studio with y'all. <laughs> but let alone being in the studio with these legends, and, like, I would have just said something goofy, or I would have froze up or something. But, like, I feel like at this stage, I don't... There, Just the fact that I've gotten in the room with them, it feels like I'm here for a reason and stuff, and I don't get the whole, like... uh like I used to, I, it used to happen, but I don't get the whole super fan bit. Like, oh, I'm nervous. Oh my god, that's no, primo. Yeah. You know, like I just like I feel like, dang, this is up. I'm in here now. Now it's time yeah. to execute. That's all I really feel like. I, I can't wait to work. You know, yeah. And like I can't wait to pick their minds and see what's up. Like hear, hear the stories and so just. So is that like, what happened with Dre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened with Dre. I met Dre and he was in the in there with DOC and they were just watching the playoffs and I was like, dang, this what's up. I'm in here. <laughs> They're now. normal people I'm like us. I'm in here. Yeah, and they were real cool. They hadn't heard me. I met Maz and Justice, and they were, like, really into the song Suede. And uh, they were like, yo, we got to play this for Dre. And he played it for him, played it, like, three times. And after that, we were working. Yo. And I, I've been working with him for weeks, and I, I was like, I got this song with Primo, and if you want to hear it, he's like, what? Yeah, and he played it. First four bars went by. He was like, I got to get on this. And now it's like, on Compton. That's it. <laughs> that is so crazy to yeah. me. And then you dropped Venice. I dropped Venice, yes. Venice. That was last hella, year. Yeah. yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. Hella dope project. And Thank now you. Malibu. Thank you. How yeah, are Malibu. you feeling the growth between Venice and Malibu? Well, a lot more people are paying attention now. 
Um, would you say? Would you think that was because of Compton? Would you say that maybe? I think it had a. Uh, uh, it's a part of it. Yeah, it's a big part of it, and I think um, we had a lot of momentum going as well. Oh, totally. Which is, I think, even why I was able to even work with Compton and even get that much of a look. It was because I, you know, I think Dre really respected our movement that we had on, yeah. on our own, and the fact that we were already kind of moving things along. And I think like he was like, okay, I think he knows how to handle this because he did not have to put me on with all those legends like that. And that's know? what I loved about Compton was that he showed a lot of like younger cats love on this project. Super you know, Candace Pillay, you, you know, you Super for love. them joints even, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like people that were like are bubbling, but this was like going to put them on the map. It's you amazing. Know what I mean? Amazing yeah. what he did. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think the growth is all in the music and, and, uh, uh, it's like the maturation, you know, like with Venice, we were having fun. There was no real personal stories that yeah. much. Um, it wasn't like really uh, too deep. I didn't want to go into too much stuff. I just wanted to have fun, do like a modern record, totally. do something that um, people could party to and like, you know, be feel cool, you yeah. know, too. And uh, this has those same elements, but it's just a little more personal, a little more. Which is good. Yeah, you know, it gets you a little more, more insight about you. me. Yeah. And it's cool now because the timing, everybody's kind of like, who is this kid? You know, yeah. like, I know he got big teeth. I know he got, you know, a big head and stuff. Yeah. But like, <laughs> Wes. <laughs> You is need there to more to him? A yeah, big... so you yeah, need to there's stop. more to it. Yeah. What is in the works? Um, I know you're just living on this Malibu high right, right now. Right now, it's all about Malibu. Malibu's out. Malibu's out right now. Please get that. Please. Um, I'm loving Malibu, and uh, we're doing videos for Malibu. They're on the way. I got a group with um with a, a talented producer uh, named Knowledge, and that group is called No Worries. Nice. And that's kind of like my Nas Barkley, my whole like other side that I get to display, Ooh. and it's on Stone Throw, and that's. Really anticipated. That's so dope. I was actually just telling your management right now. I was telling Adrian, I'm like, dude, I was in Highland Park this past weekend, yeah. and we're like walking. We go to this bar called Greyhound across the street, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And I look right there, and I'm like, that's Stone's that's Throw Stone's right Records. there. And he's yeah. like, yo, yeah, it's crazy that they're here in Highland Park because yeah. he's like from Highland Park, and uh -huh. we're just having this conversation. And when he said that, I was like, that's yeah. so crazy. I was just in that area. It's huge, man. It's it's, it's amazing, man. And they're legends right yeah, there, man. Yeah. Shout out the Wolf and everybody over there being really good support and. Uh, we're done with that record, and that'll be out. Um, we're doing Coachella this year. That's a big deal. Um, we're on our way to New York. We Oh, it's, tomorrow we have a show here. Uh, oh, or or yeah, I don't know when this airs, but we have a show day, here. Yeah. Um, that's sold out. New York's SOBs is sold out. Uh, we have a European tour, uh, off-the-ground tour, my first headlining tour in Europe. And uh, a couple shows are sold out already, London How and Amsterdam. How does that feel? It feels dope. It feels so good. It that like would trip me out and be like, man. Yeah, it's like, what? It's cracking right now. <laughs> yeah. We was just so, I was like telling the band, I'm like, ooh, we kind of on. It's, we not we kinda, almost, but we're, we're pretty good at it's this. It's looking you good know? right now. Yeah, but it's a good, it feels good right now. Well, I'm so I'm happy for you, man. I'm Thank glad you. and I can't wait to see what else is in the works. I can't wait till your project comes out with knowledge. I think that's going to be amazing. It's going to be good. And you know what? Just best of luck to you. Thank you. We're continuing to watch and see this star. Like, just flourish in front of us. That's what's up. <laughs> you keep shining. I'm going to keep shining, oh, too, okay? Thank you. I All appreciate right. you. Thanks, Anderson. Thank you. Thank you.